Good afternoon, class. So our topic for the uh, our next topic uh, when it comes to thermodynamics is work and energy. So technically, we discuss gas law. So we come up with from Boyle's law to Charles' law, Gay-Lussac, combined, and then the ideal gas law. Okay. So if you have any question, uh, just react or you can message here at Zoom. So you can notify me. Okay. So please keep your camera close para makapag-start tayo. So next topic natin is work and energy. Technically, actually yun talaga, matik, after ng gas law, proceed na tayo ngayon sa work and energy. So, so work and energy, madami yan. Guys, we have the non-flow work, the work, the non-flow work, the workflow, internal energy, internal heat. Pero mag-focus ng tayo mismo sa work in energy in its basic sense sa pinakamis mong foundation niya. Okay? So, ayun. So, we have here uh, work, you know, work and energy. So, technically, work and energy is interchangeable. Okay? You can, work is energy, energy is work. Something like that. Okay? So, may ganong idea. Okay? So, ayun. Next tayo. Work. So, technically, work in the, in the mechanical sense of the term, Work is done when a resistance overcome by a force acting through a measurable distance. So yung work natin, guys, technically there are two factors na involved. So we have the force, yung force na go overcome and then kung ilang distance yung na-overcome ng force na yun. Okay? So from that idea, yun yung work natin. Okay? So punta tayo sa ano. So, sinasabi niya yun dito, work is equal to the force multiplied by distance. Okay? So, kung mapapansin niyo, from that idea, well, sabi, sabi work, wait lang. So, sabi work is equal to force multiplied by distance. Okay? So, wala na ano yan. Yan ay parang pinakamain uh, solution for work. So, mga isip nyo, is there para siyang moment? Moment of force, para siyang torque. Diba? Malala nyo yung discussion natin last meter. Diba? Work, moment is equal to also force multiplied by distance. Okay? So, ano yung pagkaiba ngayon ng moment tsaka work natin? So, pagkaiba ng moment and work natin is yung yung tawag natin na application ng force natin. Kung sa moment, guys, kung naalala nyo, in moment, our application of force is perpendicular to the distance. So, kung ito yung distance natin, yung force natin is pa ganyan. Okay? So, yun, yun, ganun yung sa moment natin. So, kaya, kaya mapapansin nyo, guys, yung, yung uh, unit ng moment natin, di ba ang unit ng moment natin is only Newton meter or foot pound or foot inch ay uh, pound inch pounds di ba para ganyan ganyan lang yung ano natin yung unit natin sa moment kasi technically newton meters meron siyang combination di ba kung nalalaman yung discussion natin ng ideal gas law sa may last last part regarding sa unit ng specific gas constant di ba newton meter is joule okay So pero dito, dito pwedeng mapagsama yung new, yung newton sa meter. Kasi nga yung application both ng moment and ng force and distance natin is hindi parehas ng direction. So doon ngayon nagkakaiba yung moment and work natin. So sa force, sa work natin guys, parehas yung direction ng force sa direction ng distance. Okay? So yun yung malaking changes between them. So yung work natin guys from this idea meron siyang tawag doon So you kaya, kaya technically yun yung pagkakaiba ngayon ng work and moment natin. Okay? So work natin mam units niya uh, units use uh, units for work pala. Worse we have the Newton meter or joule yan we have the BTU okay BTU yan na hindi BTS 
four. So, alam ko na bigay ko na sa inyo yung mga ano tawag dito at uh, uh, conversion, di ba? British thermal unit. Oh, basta BT yan. Tapos, calorie and so on. So, ayun. Check natin yung aking kodigo. Meron pa. Ayan. So, and of course, uh, ito, itong, itong tatlong to, para yan sa Joule, BTU, tsaka calorie. Para sa ano yan, tawag doon. Nalala ko yung term. Para sa uh, metric, of course, meron din type for English, which is foot pounds. Okay? Foot pounds or inch pounds, pero mostly ginagamit is foot pounds. Okay? So, ayan. Check ko yung binigay ko sa inyong ano, uh, conversion para pare, para, para parehas. Hindi magkakaiba. Okay. So, yan yung mga units natin for work. Ka. Joule, BTU, calorie. Ano pa? Calorie. Tapos, foot pound, each pound, and so on. Okay? So, teka. Loading yung PowerPoint. Okay. So, ayun. So, ito yung mga conversion natin, guys. Okay? One bit. So, conversion. Okay? Conversion. Oh. Thanks. Okay, first we have 1 BTU is equals to 10.55 Joule. Uh, 1, meron pa tayo kilowatt hour. Okay? Kaya pa pala, 1 kilowatt hour. Meron tayo 1 foot pound is equals to 1.356J. 1 kilowatt hour. 3.6 times 10 raised to 6 Joule. Ay, ba't ganyan? times raised to 6 joule and then lastly 1 calorie is equal to 4.184 joule so yung joule mat, yan yung yan yung pinaka common unit ng work natin yung BTU mostly ginagamit siya guys pag mostly sa thermodynamics of course and then madalas sa mga power plant okay and then calorie madalas siyang ginagamit when it comes to food okay di ba calorie intake and then foot pound mostly is for ano yan. Okay, for dog then for na no, long term. Put for English unit pala. Ayan. So ayan yung mga conversion of units natin. Okay? So more work force times distance then, di ba? And then proceed tayo ngayon. So ayan. So ayan lang naman. Okay? So, next tayo. Okay. So, malino na yan, We have units for work and then conversion of units. So, I hope as is tayo dyan, lang mababago. Okay. Sige. Next tayo. Okay. So, yun nga, di ba? So, work is accomplished only when an object is displaced some distance against a resistive force. So, yun nga. Work is equal to force times distance. So, nabanggit ko nga kanina, or part no title page tong PowerPoint na to is work and energy. And then, nabanggit ko nga na work is equal to energy. So, sit tayo ng that. So, technically, energy is a measure of the change imparted to a system. Okay? So, it is given to an object when a force does work on the object. Okay, so the amount of energy transferred to the object equals to the work done. So technically, trans, parang nagiging equal sila in a sense na yung work done, yung work na nagawa ng machine mo is yung energy na transferred sa object. So technically, yung work na nagagawa ng, ob, yung ob, ng machine papunta sa object is ang tawag na doon, is nagiging energy na siya. Nagiging mechanical energy na siya. Okay, so parang ganun, ganun yung ganun yung relationship between work and energy. So yun nga, when an object does work, it loses an amount of energy equal to the work it does. Okay, so work done is equal to the energy na transferred. Okay? So of course, energy and work have the same units. So energy can be joules, BTU, calorie, kilowatt per kilowatt hour and foot pound. And technically 
Kung mapapansin nyo, nabanggit dito, yung energy daw and work is scalar quantity. So kahit sabihin natin na may directional, may directional yung force natin, yung distance, technically, ano pa rin sila? Scalar quantity pa din sila. Diba? What a, ano, what a crazy word. <laughs> So, an object that is capable of doing work is technically possesses energy. So, kayo din, di ba? as a person, you have the energy okay? to, to create work or to done work. So, technically, nauubos lang siya. Di ba? So, ayan. So, when it comes to energy, so, nabanggit na nga natin. Punta tayo sa ano, whiteboard. So, nabanggit na natin, work is ala, ayan. Work is energy. Okay? And energy, technically, meron siyang dalawang... De, actually, madami siyang branches. Eh. Pero we can classify energy into branches. Which is, in the most classic, siguro, sure ako, oh, na ano nyo ito. We have the potential, di ba? Potential, energy, and the kinetic energy. Okay? So, yun yung dalawang type of energy na madidiscuss natin. So, first, we have the potential energy. So, potential energy. Ano nga ba yung potential energy? Siyempre, I sure ako may idea na kayo, di ba? So, konting ano lang ito, basa-basa na lang. So, potential energy or gravitational potential energy of a body is energy due to its position or elevation. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng potential energy. Depende kung gano'n tayo kalayo or how much distance away tayo from sea level or from the earth surface so the greater the height the greater the potential energy okay it is the energy possessed by an object because of the gravitational interaction so in falling through a vertical distance a mass can do the work amount okay so technically we define gpe of an object relative to zero Uh, relative to an arbitrary zero level, which is in the earth surface. So, pag nasa earth surface ka, technically, you don't have GPE kasi zero nga. Di ba? And then, and so on. So, habang tumataas ka, tumataas at tumataas yung GPE mo. Okay? So, paano natin, paano natin ngayon nasa-solve yung GPE natin? So, derive natin how we solve GPE. So, mayroon tayong formula for work. Okay? So, again natin na ito. Barrier. Meron tayong formula for work, guys. Diba? Work is equals to force times distance. Okay? Then we say that work is equal to energy. And then, so work is equal to energy. So energy is equals to force times distance. Pero sabi dun sa definition ng potential energy natin, guys. Yan, PE. Okay? Potential energy. Technically, potential energy is energy possessed by an object due to its gravitational interaction. So, paano siya lalabas dito? So, balik tayo ngayon sa discussion natin about force. Okay, di ba? Technically, force, uh, way back, nung time pa, nung midterm din. Di ba? We have this formula for work, I for force, relative to the acceleration, which is second law of acceleration natin, guys. Di ba? Diba? Force is equals to mass multiplied by its acceleration. And then, next. So, ibang, itong work na to, iba yan ha? And then, we have another formula for force, which is relative to work to weight, di ba? Weight is technically a downward force, di ba? Weight, so weight is technically a downward force. So, yung force natin can be can be uh, solved as force can be solved as mass times acceleration due to gravity. So, yung, pin, yung F natin dito, so let's say this one is formula number one, formula number two, formula number three, formula number four. So, yung formula number four natin, guys, is substitute natin sa formula number two. Number two. Magiging PE is equals to yung F doon, pag natin ng mg. Magiging mg. Okay? 
So, malapit na mission, malapit sa katotohanan. And then dahil nga ang ang ang, ang usapan sa so potential energy is yung distance natin o yung layo natin from earth surface. So, ano siya? Anong anong ano niya, 'di ba? Kung wala kung ito yung earth surface natin, tapos ang usapan is distance from the earth surface, 'di ba? So, technically, kwa ito yung tao. Kung yung distance na yan, pwede natin siyang tawagin as also height. Okay? So now, we come up ngayon yung formula for potential energy, which is potential energy is equals to mass times acceleration due to gravity times height. Or difference ng height, uh, difference ng height natin. Okay? So, which is height naman, technically. Okay, so ito yung formula natin ngayon for potential energy. So mapapansin nyo guys, so mapapansin nyo, meron na tayong dalawang formula ang ginagamit. First, we have the work is equal to force multiplied by distance. Okay. Then we have potential energy which is mass times acceleration 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 due to gravity diba and then multiplied by height okay so may dalawa na tayong working formula and technically work is also equal to this okay work is also equal to potential energy okay So, pwedeng interchangeable yung formula ng work natin. Okay? So, proceed tayo ngayon sa mga sample problems. So, bago tayo mag-proceed sa kinetic, mga sample problems muna tayo. Sample problems muna tayo. Okay? So, I hope malino yung ano. Ay, walang sample problems. Alright. So yan. Solve natin itong first ano. Itong first problem. How much work? Kaya ano natin i-highlight natin. How much work is accomplished by by jacking? So by jacking uh uh 150,000 slugs Airbus A320 airplane with a vertical height of 4 feet. Okay? So, meron tayong mass na 150,000 slugs. And then, meron tayong height na 4 feet. So, tinatanong, ano yung work na na-accomplish nung jack natin? So, technically, to solve for that, we must get so, some more problems. So, to solve that problem, uh, we must understand, yun nga, the work is equal to the potential energy. Yung work done, yung work done ng jacking natin is equal to the energy na transfer niya sa pag-angat or sa pag ang tama pag-angat ng A320 natin. Okay? So ayan, so meron tayong mass 150,000 slugs na. So and then height na 4 feet. Technically, meron tayo acceleration due to gravity na equals to ano equals to 32.174 uh, ac uh, ano to feet per second squared okay apa ayan 32.174 so And then, yun nga, work is equal to potential energy. So, work is equal to mass times acceleration times height. So, ayan. So, weight is equal to 150,000. I work pala, sorry. Light by 4. Okay, so slugs. Uh, feet per second squared then so technically work is equal to 
one fifty thousand times thirty two point one seven four times four is equals to uh -huh, one nine three zero four four zero zero foot pounds. Okay, so yun yung work done no ano natin. Okay, so ayun. Ayan. Okay. So, yun lang, di ba? Mandali na naman siya. Okay. So, next tayo. So, yun lang. Okay? So, ayan. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, so we're done with potential energy and we derived the formula for potential energy, which is yun nga, potential energy is equals to uh, mass times acceleration due to gravity times height or times altitude. Okay, so next tayo is yung formula natin for kinetic naman. So, yeah. Okay. So you can convert then, try nyo convert para ma-practice kayo. Diba? So, proceed tayo ngayon sa kinetic energy. So, kine uh, deriving. So, first, we have formula for work. Na ano, di ba? Force times distance. Okay? So, ayan. Ayan yung working formula natin for work, di ba? Force times distance. Or force times. And then. And then, next. Nalala yung discussion natin ng midterm. Tama sa uniformly accelerated motion, meron tayong formula doon na uh, something like this. Okay? It's equals to uh, equals to VI squared plus 2AS. Something like that. Okay? Yeah. So, final, velo uh, square, uh, final velocity squared equals to initial velocity squared plus 2 times acceleration times distance or tama displacement okay so yun nga displacement na siya so next tayo next tayo ayusin lang natin to in a sense na may ma matitira sa isang side yung acceleration so ito tong bi squared na to move natin sa abila so magiging bf minus vi di siya magiging ganyan ganyan lang siya bi minus bi squared is equals to 2AS. So, and divide both sides ng 2S. So, ayan. Okay? So, ayan na yung working ano natin. So, magiging yun na siya. Okay? So, ayan. So, magiging cancel to. Okay? So, A is equals to BF squared minus VI squared over 2S. Okay? So, next tayo. Balik ulit tayo. Kung, kung sa potential energy, nag-honor tayo sa force equals to mass times acceleration, ganun din. Balikan na. So, meron na tayong ito. Meron na tayong formula 1. Then ito, naging formula 2. Okay? And then, Proceed tayo ngayon sa second law of acceleration natin, which is acceleration is directly proportional to force and then inversely proportional to mass, which is our third equation. Okay? Kung yan yung third equation natin, ipag-combine natin ngayon yung first, ay yung second and then third. Okay? Pag-combine natin ngayon yung second and then third natin. Okay? So magiging... Fm is equals to Bf squared minus Vi squared over 2S. Okay? So next, guys, uh, is mag, ano natin, cross multiply. Okay? So magiging 2Fs is equals to M Vf squared minus Vi squared. Okay? And then next, divide natin both sides ng 2 para matira dito Fs na lang. Okay? So, ayan. F is equals to M 
VF squared, VI squared over 2. FS pala yan. And then technically, di ba, yung F, yung S natin dito, di ba, yung S natin dito is another representation lang naman siya ng distance. Okay, so we now have the formula for kinetic energy. Ba't na, ba ko nasabi siyang formula for kinetic energy? So punta tayo ngayon sa PowerPoint natin. Okay? So, so discuss natin yung definition muna ng kinetic energy. Okay? So kinetic energy, the energy or stored capacity for performing work possessed by a moving body by virtue of its momentum called kinetic energy. It is the energy possessed by an object because in motion siya. Okay? So technically, when, in, when you are in motion, you have velocity. So kung mapapansin nyo guys, sa ano natin, formula natin, di ba? may velocity siya. <laughs> Parang ganun. Okay? Pero hindi pa yan yung final ano. So as what I said, S is another representation for distance. So technically, so, technically, we now come up work or let's say Fs is equals to Fd. Okay? So, for ano na to? Number 4 na to. Okay? So, ano natin? Uh, ano natin? Equate natin yung work, yung equation 1 and then equation 4. So, work is equals to Vf squared minus Vi squared over Technically, hindi pa siya yan yung final formula natin. Although, pwede na yan, yung formula na yan. Pero hindi pa. Kasi nga, guys, sabi sa kinetic energy, kinetic energy, dapat moving body siya. So, dapat may velocity. Okay? So, equate, so i-distribute natin yung m. So, magiging work is equals to mvf squared over 2 minus mvi squared over 2. And technically, Dahil uh, moving body siya. And then, pagdating sa ganitong mga formula, initial velocity is always start at rest. Okay? Always at rest siya. So, pag sinabi natin, natin siya at rest, at rest, or nakapahinga, ibig sabihin nun, yung velocity, yung VI natin, okay? Yung VI natin, okay? VI, is equals to zero. So, kung equals to zero to, so technically, equal to zero din yan. So, ngayon, ito na yung final formula natin, which is work is equal to m vf squared over 2 or work is equal to 1 half mv squared or kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared. Okay? So, yan na ngayon yung another formula natin. Okay? So, yan. Work is equal to potential energy is equal to... In some sense, potential energy is equal to kinetic energy. Okay? but ko nasabi yun? So, mamaya pa. Explain ko mamaya kung bakit. Okay? De, explain ko na ngayon. but mamaya pa? So, yan. So, dagdag din natin dito. Yan. Okay? So, work is equal to force times distance. Kinetic energy, 1 as mb squared, PE, mgh, and then work is equal to potential is equal to kinetic. So, bago ko discuss, ba't ko nasabing, ba't ko nasabing equal yung potential in kinetic, in kinetic and technically magkaiba yung definition nila? Buta mo na tayo ngayon sa isang law na to. We have this law, what we call the law of conservation of energy. So, nag-start daw technically from uh, law of conservation of mass. Okay? So, nag-start uh, first law of thermodynamics, law of conservation of mass. Yung nga sinasabi doon, mass can neither be created nor destroyed, but only transform to one kind to another. So, ganun din yung idea sa energy. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but only transformed to one kind to another. Okay, so sabi dito, from potential energy, pwede natin siya makreate as a kinetic energy. Okay, and so on. 
well, potential to kinetic, kinetic to potential, potential to mechanical, to electrical, to kinetic, something like that. So ngayon, from this idea, guys, yun nga, so may units din dito. We have the joules and foot pounds. Actually, foot pounds lang yan, hindi yan foot pound force. Okay, foot pounds lang yan. So from this idea, okay, from this uh, law, law of conservation energy, we can come up na, so parang yung example problem, we can come up that kinetic is technically equal. So, uh, kinetic is equal to potential. But kuna sabi? Let's say we have a building here. Okay? So, maritime building. Okay, so kare ganyan yung building natin. So, Bagang ko lang drawing. And then, so, wait lang. Ilang floor to? Four. Five, six. So, kaya natin may six floor siya. So, ito yung land natin. Okay? So, ayan. So, kunwari, may tao sa taas. Okay? So, let's say, ayan, may tao sa taas. Hindi siya na, pat nakalutang siya. Dapat hindi siya nakalutang. Para mukhang legit. Okay? So, may tao sa taas. So, hindi siya magpapakamatay. <laughs> okay? Why hindi niyo magpapakamatay siya? Let's say, meron siyang hawak ngayon na bola. Di ba? Pinaka, pinaka better ano, meron siyang hawak na bola. Okay? Ang klase mong bola yan, kayo bahala kung ano gusto yung tawag. So, sinasabi dito, so, yung, so, di ba, sabi, potential energy is related to the height. So, technically, yung potential energy mo dito is sobrang laki. Okay? Sabi natin, 20 newtons. Sabi natin, 20, new, uh, 20 joules. Ganon. And then, ang kinetic energy natin is meron siyang kinetic energy natin is nakadepende siya sa velocity mo. So, dahil naka-address yung so let's say, yung kinetic energy ngayon ng bola natin at that height, technically is equal to zero joule. Kasi at rest eh, wala ang velocity. Di ba? So, technically, zero joule yung kinetic mo, potential mo at that height is 20 joules. So, ganun din dito. Pag nasa ground naman, technically, potential energy is equals to 0 joule and kinetic energy is almost equal to 20 joule naman. Okay? Kasi, once, so, yes, once, so, saan siya mag, so, kung ganyan yung ano natin, sa tanong nyo, sir, saan siya mag-equal? Hindi mag-equal siya at the middle. Kasi, once, so once na pababa yung bola, technically potential energy mo is pababa din. Okay? While while yung kinetic energy mo, 'di ba? Once na pinato mo siya pataas, 'di ba? Technically mag-equal siya at some point. Okay? So ay. So kaya ako na sabi, no, technically potential is equal to kinetic energy kasi at some point once na nagbagsak ang bola at nagbato ang bola pataas, at one point, at one intersection, technically, potential is equal to kinetic. Okay? So, ayun. So, yun lang naman. Uh, konti ako sa ano lang. Konti yung ano lang. Illustration regarding sa potential and kinetic energy. And yung relationship between them. So, syempre, once sa pababa yung potential, once sa pababa yung bola, yung potential energy mo is magdi-decrease din. Okay? And then, sa so, kinetic energy is mag-increase siya. I... Pero ito pala ano tama mag-increase hanggang hanggang mag magdi-decrease din. Technically magdi-decrease siya kasi bumabagal because of the gravity, di ba? So once sa pababa siya ulit, bibilis at bibilis naman siya. Okay? So ayun. Okay. So proceed tayo ngayon sa sample problem for kinetic energy. Okay? So, bago tayo matapos. Ayan. Okay, so, an object has a kinetic energy of 25 joules and a mass of 34 kilograms. So, how fast is the object moving? So, meron tayong... Uh, kinetic energy, meron tayong mass, and then velocity na lang hinahanap. Okay? So, ayan. Proceed tayo ngayon. 
Oo, oh, nangyari. Ayan. So, dito tayo pala. So, sample problems. So, sample problems. So, we have uh, kinetic energy is equals to uh, 25 joules. Mass is equals to 20, 34 kilograms. And then, velocity is unknown. Okay, so maritime formula for kinetic energy, one half mv squared. Okay? So, ayan, di ba? And then, substitute lang natin, 25 is equals to 17 kasi 34 over 2 v squared. So, divide by 17 both sides. So, v squared is equals to 25 over 17. So, v is equals to square root of 25 over 17, which is 1.213 meter per second. So, technically, ano pa rin yun, ha? Kung papakita ko yung, ah, uh, papakita ko yung ano, tawag doon, sorry, papakita ko yung tawag doon, yung units, technically, ah, uh, newton, newton meter joule pa din yan. Newton meters magiging joule pa din. Okay? Kasi let's, ganun pa din, actually. Ah, uh, magiging newton meter pa din yan. Okay? So, that concludes our topic for this week. So, work energy and summarize ko lang konti. So, technically, work. Work is uh, say force or work is ano ba? Definition natin ng work. So, yun nga. Work is done when a resistance is overcome by a force acting through a measurable distance. So, ibig sabihin nun, kailan tayo nagkakar... Kaya, saka lang tayo magkakaroon ng work once na na-overcome niya a measurable distance. Okay? By using force. So, for, so work technically is, is force multiplied by distance. And then, from that idea, work is equals to energy. Kasi work done is equals to the energy transferred energy. Okay? Yung work na ginawa mo sa object na yon, yung work done mo, okay, technically, na-transfer siya as energy dun sa pinagawan mo. Okay? Ngari, ikaw as a person, yun nga, parang dito. Diba? Yung work done na ginawa mo dito sa ano, dito sa ball na to, once na binato mo siya, once na nag-create ka ng force, once na binato mo siya, technically, may work done na siya. Ang work done niya nga ang work done niya ngayon is yung impact na makikreate niya sa lupa. So let's say, masisira yung lupa, di ba? Parang magiging asteroid siya. Okay? Parang ganun. Something like that. Okay? So, ayun. And then, ayun nga. And then, when it comes to energy, we have two branches, which is the potential and then the kinetic energy. And at some point, potential is equal to kinetic. Okay? And then work is equal to potential is equal to kinetic energy. And we have the formula here for work, for potential energy, and then kinetic energy. Okay? So...